We've all watched celebrities like Kirstie Alley and Valerie Bertinelli and even Carney Wilson battling their weight in front of everybody and the public. And we've seen news bulletins reporting when Jessica Simpson's and Britney Spears' jeans get a little tighter. And everyone assumes that a skinny body means a happy life. But not for Star Jones because she dropped all of that weight and later there was a backlash against her. Non-celebrities may not face that same scrutiny, but they can still experience the downside of getting down to their dream weight, too. This is Alana, and she says that her relationship with her best friend, Kanisha, totally changed after Alana lost a lot of weight. How much weight did you lose, Alana? I've lost 120 pounds. I had the gastric bypass surgery. It's been four years since. Life is good now, Tyra, but it wasn't like that before the surgery. I mean, I hated myself. I mean, to look in the mirror every day was a bad experience. It's okay. <laughs> it's not cool. It wasn't cool being that way. I was never told I was pretty to after I lost the weight. I wasn't even recognized as a beautiful woman until I lost the weight. The first time I heard I was beautiful is when I lost that 120 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I love myself, but I'm still struggling. You're still struggling. <laughs> Uh, tell me some of the things. I know when you were in an airplane, people said certain things. And when you went to the, a car dealership, yeah. things were said to you. Yeah. Um, and there was a time where I went to a car dealership. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go get this nice new sports car. I go walk up to the car. A salesman comes up to me and said, sweetie, that SUV over there is a better fit for you. Wow. He actually said that. Yeah, he said that to me. Okay. Uh, very hopeful, humiliating. That story still sticks with me. Mm -hmm. So how is your relationship with Kanisha, who's right with us right now, how is your relationship with her um, before you lost the weight? Before I lost the weight, my, Kine my relationship with Kanisha was well. I mean, I love this girl with all my heart. But it wasn't until after the weight loss surgery that I realized how bad she actually treats me now. It's like she totally treats me different. Different now. Now, before you lost the weight, I heard that you only spent time together in the house. Yeah, we true? only spent time together in the house. So after I lost the weight, it was acceptable for me now to be seen with her in the public. I can go now to the NBA parties or just clubbing with her. <laughs> I was okay now. She wouldn't be embarrassed. Okay. But so you say she's bringing you out now, but you feel that she's treating you negatively now? See, right now, I feel that Kanisha is jealous of me. Mm -hmm. You know, I did admire her skinny figure growing up. Like, that's, you know, she was my idol. But now it seems that she's jealous. She's competing with me. She's no longer in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. So Tell me what's the one thing that you thought she said about you at a party when you had on some shorts? Yeah, I had some nice high-waisted shorts on. And she's like, Alana, you have something on your leg, on the back of your leg. So I'm just going like this, wiping. And, you know, a guy was there talking to me because, again, she was upset she wasn't the star of the show that day. So um, she's like, no, that's fat cellulite or varicose veins. Mm. So very humiliating. Mm. I walked away. I couldn't even look the guy in the face. It was just like, get out of here, run mm. fast. She constantly reminds me on a day-to-day -day basis, you're still fat. Mm -hmm. what, how do you feel, Kanisha? Do you feel that what uh, Alana's saying is true? Have no. You, have you treat her, do you treat her differently now than you did before? Tyra, I've been supportive with Alana from day one. Like when I met her six years ago, I consider Alana to be like a sister to me, mm -hmm. my best friend. I started to change with Alana is when she lost all of her weight because she turned into a total diva. She was like being a bitch to me. She's being very rude and very mean to me. Like when I call Alana and even back in the day, I would call you Alana and say, Alana, let's go places, let's do this. And you would always say, Kanisha, I don't want to go out. I want to stay home. So that's why I would invite her to family events and we would just watch movies or so because every time I would invite her to different places, she wouldn't want to mm -hmm. go. Ever since she lost the weight, Tyra, I call her, I'm like, Hey, Alana. No, it's the lovely Alana. Don't call me Alana anymore. I have my new name. So she's total diva. She's very bossy with me. You told you told my producers that she's acting like a certain celebrity. What celebrity is that? Mariah. She's like a Mariah Carey. No. She's very. I'm serious. She's very. I'll be like, um, Alana, let's let's go do this. Oh, I need to go pencil you in. Let me see if I have time for you, Kanisha. Mm -hmm. And she's very demanding. She snaps her fingers and she wants everything her way. And that's not the Alana that I met. And I'm very supportive with Alana. And I was when you got the surgery, Alana. And you didn't even tell me 
that you got anything done. Have anything. you ever been jealous of anything now that she's lost the weight? Is there, um, are there, I, is there some things that are like, eh? Well, when, um, before she had got like any kind of surgery done, Alana has always had bigger breasts than me. And in the past, Alana would make fun because I always had small breasts. And she would say, you know, you have a B-cut breast size. What are you still like in middle school? What are you still like teenager? You need to wear teenage bras or a teenager training bra. Like she would always spill my face that my boobs were small because she's always had the bigger boobs. And you know, she always got a lot of attention for her breasts. So now that she's lost the weight and her boobs look even bigger on her body because she's smaller <laughs> everywhere else. Yes. It made you decide to do something. Yes, I had went out because she would like put me down so much. Like I went out and got plastic surgery done. So I had got a breast enhancement. I forgot so. to tell you, she's very dramatic. She up plays everything or down plays mm -hmm. everything. It's like, oh, it's hot outside. Oh yeah, it's so hot, I'm gonna faint. It's like always thriving for attention when we're out. Tyra, I do not, I'm not a drama queen. I'm not over the top. Alana, you have a lot of nerves because everywhere we go, you wanna be the spot of attention. You walk in, Why? hey everybody, like she's very loud. I can't help it if it's really hot and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna say it so she could call 911 or get me some help if I do pass out. So I'm not trying to be dramatic. She just blows things over the top. Wherever we go, she embarrasses us. Do you feel like you're ever in not in the spotlight like she is? Do you ever feel like she's more dominant and you're just kind of getting lost in the shadows? Now? I definitely feel lost in the shadow now because uh, Alana just overpowers everything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what I say or anyone else says. You go by Alana. She's like the lead singer of the group, and we're like, I'm like the backup singer. It's like, I do what she says. Like, if it's not my way, it's no way. So I do feel like, you know, overpowered by Alana. Mm -hmm. And do you think that you might have been the lead singer before she lost the weight, and she was like Michelle and Kelly <laughs> before she lost the weight? Honestly, Tyra, I always felt that I treated Alana equally. I never tried to be mm -hmm. over the top or, you know, better than her. And if she felt that way, I truly feel that, but I never wanted to be the one that was running things. I always treated Alana, to me, like a sister and how I wanted to be treated. Mm -hmm. I've never been. I'm hearing a couple of things, treat audience. I I'm hearing, yes, I treat her well and I love her, but dang, I'm in the background now. I'm hearing a little something. We'll be right back. Up next. Does losing weight have to mean losing your friends? This is you changing so much and saying that the world is yours and it kind of doesn't matter who you hurt because it's all about you right now. And later, how one mother's teasing words turned out to be her daughter's greatest pain. It makes me feel like I'm not good enough mm -hmm. the way I am, that I don't measure up to the daughter that she wants.
talking to say the last thing they expected after their dramatic weight loss was to also lose a friend. But Alana says she and her best friend Kanisha have been on the rocks ever since Alana had gastric bypass surgery and lost 120 pounds. Their other friend Asia is joining us now and she's been in the middle of this whole deteriorating relationship. Um, so Asia, you have seen it, you know, you've seen both sides. And now as I listen to it and have the commercial break, I'm starting to think about it and I don't think Either of you guys are so innocent. No, no. I think there's been a lot of changing mm -hmm. on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. What do you see, Asia? Well, I've known Alana and Kanisha for a while. I've known Alana since the second grade, and I've known Kanisha for about six years now, and we hang out. We spend a, a great deal of time together. And when you have noticed uh, they're, they're, they're competing, like, Constantly now? competing. It's always a constant. Was it before the weight or after the weight loss? I think I noticed it more after the weight after, loss. After, okay. Yeah, definitely. So they're looking in the mirror, comparing themselves. We went to Vegas recently for my birthday, and they literally spent four hours getting ready. And I had to rush them along to, you know, come on, you guys, let's get out of here. But um, once we finally did get out, and um, we met some guys at a club, and to see them compete was absolutely ridiculous. It went from one laughing louder than the other, one touching someone a little bit more than the other you know it just it was ridiculous and it was embarrassing what is this i hear about um K kanisha pointing out a guy at a club what happened kanisha you saw a guy in a club and you were like oh you think he's cute and then what happened well we walked into a club and i said alana what do you think about that guy standing at the bar and she said he's all right he's not all that i've seen better so after the end of the club we proceeded to walk out and I told Asia, where's Alana? Have you seen Alana? Oh, sorry, the lovely Alana. Have you seen the <laughs> lovely Alana? And I was like, I can't find her. I look over at the bar, she's talking to the same guy that I told her earlier that I thought was cute, but she said that he was okay. He wasn't all that. And then I seen you, Alana, give him your number. You came so in at the end of the to... action. He... Yeah, I came in at the end of the action, but why are you trying to talk to him after I told you I thought he was cute? I and you said you weren't I even interested. I can't help that I had a fan that wanted to come talk to me. See? A fan? Yeah. See? I have fans. <laughs> so you do think you're Mariah? Men are fans. Men are fans. <laughs> Men are fans. I don't do you think, think I'm you're Mariah. Up? I'm better than Mariah. I just don't got her money. Oh, oh. my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so do you think you're making up for lost time because of the time when you didn't feel attractive, so now it's like... I am making up for lost time. You know, I mean, again, I'm back to the 320 where I used to weigh. I mean... I I couldn't go out, I wasn't accepted in society, so now I've shed my skin like a snake, you know, I'm out there, I'm partying, I'm living my life, you know, 20 years later, i living my life. I lived a sheltered life before, and now I'm like, hey, I'm out there, I'm doing it, I'm on the dance floor shaking my butt, as opposed to sh shaking my butt in the chair, breaking chairs while I'm dancing, <laughs> but I'm happy. You know, it's interesting because before I came out here, and, and even the show was about losing a bunch of weight and losing your friends because your friends can't handle it. But this is different. This is you changing so much and saying that the world is yours and it kind of doesn't matter who you hurt because it's all about you right now. It's not that way, Tyra. No? Um, so if your friend says, I think that guy is cute, you're like, uh-huh, he is. I'm going to go take him? I don't say this. She, I told you again, she's very dramatic. She overplays a lot of stuff. Well, so. did, did that sound dramatic or did that sound like just a story? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we followed our next guest's amazing weight loss journey right here on The Tyra Show. And you know her as... Jennifer Lopez is drum playing sister in the movie Selena, and she's the best-selling author of Under Construction. Please welcome Jackie Guerra.